So, welcome back. Plan of action today. It is bank holiday Sunday. Five past nine in the morning. We're meeting up with a client from the UK. Well, he lives in Ireland, but uh, he, he's from England. He's travelling down. We're going to Gory to train and fitness first. And we're going to get a push day done. Meal one going in. Had no eggs this morning, so I had to improvise. We've got four bacon medallions and what's meant to be 100 grams of veg. Um, I was running out of veg as well, so I had to make do what I had. Going to get this, get some water down, electrolytes, and then get the pre-workout in. Should be a good day. That never gets better. Joy. Good, slow it right down with lung control. Squeeze. One, two, three, drive. Hold it for two. All yours, all the way to failure. Two, one more. Drive, 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 alone. You're doing lateral raises. You're coming in. You're kind of swaying, jogging like this and bouncing. You need to strip the weight back. Obviously, the weight is going to be too heavy for you. You're probably pushing more 10 kg each side or 12.5 kg each side. Strip it back to 7.5 kg first. Get the form right. You want to be coming up, holding for two, and then slowly coming back down. We don't want to be bouncing when we're doing it because all the resistance is coming from your legs. You want to be driving with your shoulders instead. Hold it for two. Be the Lord Jesus, that's quite heavy.
we uh, tried to record a video after the gym session on Sunday and ended up not having the audio working so we have more technical issues like last week. This is James by the way and he is now prepping for a photo shoot which is in two weeks time. How are we feeling then going into the photo shoot? Yeah good, it's um, like I was saying when I kind of came to you I was just stuffing out right your nose like Christmas and geez I was 93 kilos and I just, I just needed that focus you know and someone constantly checking in with me each week pushing me just basically you know, really give me a kick up the arse just to get back to where I was but yeah feeling good yeah and, like adapted to uh, the meal plans and stuff and obviously like I've, I've got a desk job so I sit at the desk most of the day so it's hard for me to get out and move in but with the meal plans and everything and the timing you give me around it and just motivate me to get the cardio in, get the cardio done. It's, it's made a massive change. Like, geez, well. 100%. It's like, see, everyone's different. We deal with people that have office jobs and stuff like that, where it's just hard for them to get steps and so we need to manipulate the plan around that for them and to make sure that we still get the same results as someone who's working on a site and doing 25,000 steps a day. Like, um, But yeah, no, when James came to me, I think we were two weeks in and uh, the idea of having this photo shoot, because I had a few lads lined up who were close enough to being in that condition, I said to him, we can definitely get you in shape in what, that 16 weeks, so I think we're coming up to yeah. the 16 weeks on the dot, on the day of the photo shoot, so. What we're doing the recovery session. Yeah. So, oh my god man, look at that. How far? <laughs> I wasn't sitting there, I was squatting there. I mean, another poor circulation. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was a good weekend of training. As you see there, I put a clip in of me and Colin training up in Southside Gym in Dublin as well. We had a good session on Sunday with James, and then he came back for the recovery session with us on Tuesday. Yeah, so you got a, you got a bit of an insight into into his journey and uh, and how he's prepping and how he's coping with with the prep for the photo shoot now in two weeks time. So change of plan again for me for the second or third time in the last two videos. I am taking part now in the photo shoot myself. So decided to dig deep. I'm kind of happy that I didn't have the pressure the last sixteen weeks of thinking that I was going to do it. Um, but now we're in a position to kind of get good content out of it so I'm jumping in on the photo shoot might make the lads a bit more comfortable as well and now that I'm doing it uh, so to have someone there that's used to doing it might make them a bit more comfortable taking photos and stuff like that so I'm looking forward to it I also need to start checking my camera equipment before I start recording videos because it's been a disaster the last two weeks I ended up film, filming apart as I said before there uh, ended up filming with James and having a chat with him after the, after the gym session outside fitness first and glory and of course i forgot to turn on the mic again so we had to i think we were recorded three times before that still didn't even realize so we, we got we eventually got it done on tuesday but yeah this weekend coming up we've got the first photo shoot for liam so i'm gonna be filming that and then uploading that next sunday so again thank you for watching if you haven't already, please do subscribe, comment below, and please do like the video.